Hey, what's up guys? Alien Rides here, and I just got a package from Sonkin Engineering in France. I got a modification for my Dualtron Thunder. I actually got a damper mount, so I've got the damper here, and we're gonna unbox the damper, install it, and go on a little test ride. So let's go. Looks like we've got a bunch of stickers, got some washers, some bolts. Nice little damper mount here. And that goes on the deck. And I went ahead and got my own damper here. I think any standard damper should work. Song can we'll sell you one though if you want to buy one from him. But I decided to just get my own to save on shipping. So let's check this one out here. This is a nice red one which should go nicely with my scooter. Now before this kit was available, the only other kit was the Airx damper, but due to limited availability, difficulty of installation, and the price, I went ahead and went with this one. They're the new kids in the block, so I thought I'd go ahead and purchase this one and do a little video on it. So let's take a look at these pieces and do the installation now. All right guys, so I've got my thunder here and the installation is gonna be a little bit tricky because I've got all this stuff here on the handlebars. I've got this front key bar with this light and I've got this custom deck, so hopefully it all works out. I think what we need to do is attach this guy like so and this thing would go around the front collar here. So first, I'm gonna remove these two bolts on the deck. So we've got this damper installed now on this side. This bolt's really long though, so I'll have to figure out how to get a shorter bolt in the future. So now I have to take off this little front thing here. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got our old light housing off. And so now we're going to attach the front part of the damper. Still turn. Very cool. So let's reattach my light assembly now. All right, guys. So now we've got the damper fully installed correctly. Now there was a bag of spacers that I forgot, so we've added a spacer here, and we added a spacer here. And with those spacers, everything just kind of fits pretty well together. So you can see this front damper kind of just barely goes over this key bar here if you have the key bar. And the key bar comes off of that front damper not there. And so yeah, the scooter's getting pretty crazy. So we've got a kitty bar here, we've got a light here, the damper, and we've got a battery bag here, which has the batteries of both the LED deck here, which lights up, and also this front headlight here. So we've just got a bunch of stuff going on in the front of the scooter now, it's getting pretty cool. And if I turn the handlebars, seems to work pretty well. All right, let's go outside in a test ride now and see how this thing works out. All right, guys, so we're in Golden Gate Park now, and we're going to go test out this damper for a little bit, ride around the park, go over some jumps, things like that. And I'll be right back with some more thoughts on this damper. So hey guys, we're taking a break for a little bit in Golden Gate Park here. We took the Dualtron Thunder and the damper out for a few miles around Golden Gate Park. We took some turns, went over some jumps, got a feel for the damper, and now I'm going to give you some impressions of it. So I haven't been riding scooters for very long, but in the short time I have, I've learned a lot from a lot of my friends from around the world. One of my friends, Dave Deluria, taught me a lot about how to ride a scooter properly and safely. Things like putting weight on your front foot to always maintain traction on the front tire, and how to avoid wobbles at speed. So he's also made a really great written review of this damper system. So definitely check it out if you haven't yet. I'll leave a link to that written review in the video description below. So personally, I don't really need a damper. I'm able to ride at high speeds, 50 miles an hour plus, no problem, with no wobble at all. And also go over bumps and jumps without a problem. The nice thing about this damper in my mind though, is that it just makes the ride a lot easier. 
you don't have to think as much. You can generally maintain stability without thinking. You could even ride one-handed if you wanted to, which I really don't recommend even with a stabilizer, and it wouldn't really be a problem. So one of the main problems without a stabilizer is going over a jump. So check out this footage of me going over a jump earlier on the Dualton Thunder. Many beginners will struggle with this because they're not able to keep the handlebar straight when they go over the jump. With the damper though, it just keeps the handlebar straight for you without a problem, so you don't even have to worry about it really. I do think that this kind of damper can prevent a lot of crashes, and I'm hoping that a lot more scooter manufacturers start adding it to their scooters. Overall though, this design, I think it's super clever, just kind of using some existing mounting holes. I did have to kind of move my lights down below, which isn't too bad, but we'll see how it holds up. Overall, I think this is a great damper, but some of the things that might bug you a little bit are that you have a little bit less foot room now. So usually my foot is up here to the left of the scooter neck here, but I have a little bit less room. Overall, still a super comfortable ride. Also, you might have to adjust some things up here if you have a front kitty bar. That could be a little bit tricky. But overall, I think I'm definitely gonna leave this damper attached. I like the look of it. I think it's super cool. This is just my first day of riding with this damper so far, but I'm gonna ride with it for a few more weeks and maybe I'll give some more impressions down the road. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment below. Definitely looking forward to doing more modification videos on the Dualtron Thunder and other scooters as well. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you all next time. Peace out.